Warm greetings to all. I am Tia Jain from class 6. I am here with my story Santa and the Candles. In the good old days, Aster, a village at the foothill of a great mountain, it always snowed there during winter and the weather became very cold. There lived a boy, Ellen, with his father. Ellen's father was a candle maker and was specially in demand during Christmas. Unfortunately, just before Christmas, Ellen's father fell ill and was in bed for quite a long time. He was unable to go out to sell candles for Christmas festivity. On Christmas Eve, Ellen found his dad in sad mood. He asked, Dad, why do you look so sad? Ellen's dad sadly replied, My dear son, I can't go out to sell candles due to illness. Oh, I'm so helpless that I can't bring any gift for it this Christmas. Don't worry, Dad, said Ellen. I'll go out and try to sell these candles. Ellen's dad was reluctant to send him due to severe cold. But Ellen has made up his mind. He took lots of candles in a leather bag and set out towards the town. It had started snowing, but he kept on walking. Just outside the town, there was a church. Ellen saw an old man sitting on a bench outside the church, wearing worn-out clothes and shivering. He went close to him and asked, Grandpa, what are you doing here in cold? Where's your family? The old man said, My child, I'm all alone and homeless. Ellen felt very bad. He handed a box of candles and a matchbox to the old man and requested him to light one after other to keep warm. Ellen wished if he could do more for the old man. He moved on. Ellen reached the town and was able to sell all his candles quickly. While returning home, Ellen saw the old man lighting up his candles but still shivering. He went to him and said, Grandpa, you are still shivering. Please come to my home and spend Christmas Eve with me and my father in our small house. The old man agreed to Ellen's persuasion and decided to go with him. They arrived home. Ellen's father also welcomed the old man generously. Ellen made hot soup and gave it to his father and the old man as well. Old man thanked Ellen many times and then they all went to sleep. Around midnight, Ellen was woken up by some sound. He looked around but didn't find the old man. He opened the door and looked for the old man. It was snowing. At a distance, he saw a figure with white beard and red robe riding on a reindeer sledge. He immediately recognized him to be a Santa Claus. He tried to call, Santa, Santa, but Santa went away into the sky. Ellen was disappointed that he missed meeting with Santa. He turned around sadly, but lo, his entire house was glittering like new one with new furniture, lots of lights and lit up candles. He found his father in new clothes, completely cured and healthy. Ellen's father handed over him a bag filled with gold coins and a letter in a stocking which he found near the fireplace. The letter said, My dear Ellen, thanks for the warmth of the box of candles shelter and warm cup of soup. Santa is always in search of it. Keep on doing good deeds and always be at side of needy. God bless you. Yours, Santa. Ellen C. Santa in the sky, leaving in the sky, calling, ho, 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 Merry Christmas to all. So what goes around, comes around. Somehow, our actions always have a way of coming back to us. Thank you. Merry Christmas.